Hi, I'm Karen Iba, and thank you so much for tuning in to Halo Halo. The Silent River Film Festival takes place August 7th through the 16th, all online, with over 30 films from 20 countries, including USA, Japan, and Italy. Here to tell us more is Kalpna Singh Chitnis, the woman behind the Silent River Film Festival. Welcome, Kalpna. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, congratulations, the Silent River Film Festival is back and it kicks off August 6th or August 7th, <laughs> excuse right. me. So congratulations. Um, tell me the process in getting it back and why you decided to bring it back online. Uh, first of all, thank you for having me. And um, you have uh, supported the Silent River Film Festival from day one. Um, uh, at your show, um, Kataniba, Halo Halo show. So uh, it is just that I'm so excited to talk about our festival, um, which is uh, happening this year, taking place from 7th through 16th of August. Uh, festival opens on Friday, 7th. And getting back to your question, um, why I started this film festival again, because uh, I never wanted to close this festival in the first place. <laughs> it just happened that um, when Silent River Film Festival, which I initially had started uh, under the umbrella of Silent River, um, my own production company, um, in order to bring the community together, the film community and the people who are passionate about um, the art of cinema, um, I decided to turn uh, Silent River Film Festival into a nonprofit organization. Uh, we did run uh, this festival for two years um, under the umbrella of Silent River Film and Literary Society. Uh, but um, then things uh, started to change a couple of our uh, founding uh, members, uh, the directors of the Silent River Film Military Society uh, for some good reason had to part their ways. Um, they, they were my strength. Uh, I miss them a lot. And I, today I you know, want to remember them and want to give a shout out to both of them, um, Sylvia Tupper and Athena Markovers in, in Australia. Um, they, they were equally passionate about uh, what we were doing together. We, we had a lot of support from, from people and, uh, but it was really, really uh, hard, becoming hard for uh, us to manage because festival was getting bigger mm -hmm. where the resources and um, the team and everything else was kind of dwindling. Um, right. So we had to put the festival on halt for, mm -hmm. for three years uh, with the hope that we will find uh, people to come together and do it. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't work out. So we had only two options, yeah. either to close this program um, for good or um, the board of directors gave me the option uh, to emancipate the Silent River Film Festival. So this way I can run it on my own as I did before. Yeah. <laughs> so this is the longest story <laughs> behind this small film festival. <laughs> and your film festival, um, you have, what, four feature films, you have docu feature documentaries, you have short films. Tell me about some of the feature films like Blurred Vision and Bruiser. <laughs> Say Bruiser, uh, is is a ma film made here in the United mm -hmm. States. Mm -hmm. That is another beautiful uh, film. Um, if you want to experience uh, America, you should watch uh, watch Bruiser. Okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a, a, a total Americana. <laughs> Blurred Vision uh, is 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 a film about a, a relationship. Mm -hmm. um, but it has a kind of a mystery in it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a drama and um, it's like a very uh, suspense in it. Mm -hmm. Beautifully shot. I mean, oh. every frame of that movie. Right. Um, it's just wonderful cinematography, wonderful yeah. storyline. Actually, let me just tell you what we're showing on the opening night. Yeah. Uh, one is um, Tank Man. Mm -hmm. uh, Tank Man is the story of the Tank Man, which is stood in front of the tank when <laughs> on Tiananmen Square. Oh. I think, we, yeah. So 
nobody knows much about the tank man I don't okay know. i don't want to give the story uh, mm-hmm. give up the story right mm-hmm. now so that is one of the short films uh, mm-hmm. is going to be shown on the opening night mm-hmm. uh, then we have one student short mm, is called the boulevard of broken dreams and uh, that is a ucla film mm-hmm. uh, so blurred vision t- uh, tank man and the boulevard, boulevard of broken dreams um, uh, we are going to show on the opening night mm-hmm. Uh, we have this year uh, cinema for causes theme. If you ask, is homelessness. Uh, we have uh, three films um, this year. Uh, one is uh, where is home, uh, where is home on homelessness, and also Eric, uh, and uh, there is one short film by Romel Foster, Home Sweet Home. Um, those are our cinema for causes showcase. Uh, another documentary uh, we can include in that showcase is uh, Hurricane Maria, yeah. the American Dream. Mm-hmm. And uh, there are several other shorts um, as well as a music video. So basically um, we decided to do showcase only those films um, which we think can be nominated for awards. So. Ha- how does it work? Actually, you buy tickets for each night or is it one price for all these films? See, we are a very generous film festival. <laughs> <laughs> Since we are relaunching this festival as a virtual fest, mm-hmm. um, this year we decided not to go and charge uh, every film. Like you have to buy a ticket for every single movie. Yeah. Um, see our generosity you have to buy just one pass one all access pass for fifteen dollars <laughs> and you can see all the movies for entire the duration of the festival anytime from, uh, yeah from, uh, at your convenience from your home or anywhere you are and we just want to it is uh, we just want to see um that people are um excited about participating in it we want more viewers uh, we want to see how it goes because I don't know if the world is going to change in another one uh, one year and mm-hmm. next year we are going to do a conventional film festival or we can stay the same as a virtual fest we don't know mm-hmm. so basically uh, we are doing a lot of experiments this year to we want to people to feel comfortable about coming online and experiencing the festival the same way they have experienced as you know like um, we we were very ambitious from day one. Uh, every year we showed 85 to 90 films at the least um, at big venues, which I mentioned to you, in Beverly Hills, Irvine, UCI, and also on. Uh, so for us to crunch down and do small things like a, in, 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 you feel like, you know, really really we are doing this way but yeah we are really doing it this way so how we can make this exciting how we can bring people together how we can make other feels oh no it's not not you know whatever 15 dollars nothing we just go buy a pass and we can we can see you yeah. know experience this similarly the our um, poetry workshop is going to take place the same way mm-hmm. we are providing free pass to any writer or poet uh, who wants to experience the festival online and uh, want to write poetry inspired by cinema. And then they can record that poem um, in their voice. They can send to us, we can create a video, we can share with the filmmakers in Hollywood uh, or anywhere in the world, you know, because we have uh, films from several different countries. So it is like a kind of, um, you know, filmmakers also don't expect like little things, you know, we, we do it as special. Um, thank you so much for doing this, for putting together the Silent River Film Festival again, because I think it's a unique collection of very well done films that you can't really watch anywhere else. And then to do the cinema for causes and to showcase poetry, you know, it's very unique, like you said, and it's all for $15. You have over 30 films that you can watch <laughs> that you can't right. get anywhere else. One more thing I wanted to add. And so we have this word out. Mm-hmm. Um, we normally do Q&A after the film festival, right? After okay. screening the film, 
the tradition is to do a Q and A with the filmmakers. Right. <laughs> uh, we had two options: we can go on Zoom and do Q and A with the filmmakers, uh, which becomes kind of a little boring for filmmakers. Right. <laughs> they don't enjoy it. They don't want to log in and password. And similarly, the people who want to watch the video later, they have to put mm -hmm. the password, this and that, and they don't want to go through that. So we have a huge following on social media. Mm -hmm. So we are doing one unique thing that we are doing Q&A on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm. So all our followers can be immediately noti be notified when a filmmaker goes live. Right. Um, on Facebook, and you might ask how it happened. Well, what if you want to join the Q and A, right? Yeah. So let's say you watch a film. Uh, in the comment box, uh, first of all, you can give the star rating um, because we also are doing audience choice award this year. That is one unique thing, yeah. Because we never had audience choice award before. We had other awards, but this audience choice award is new. So you can give the star ratings. This way, we know which film. Is the most favorite to the audiences mm -hmm. but you can also put your question in the comment box for the filmmakers so they can see it so they are well prepared they have your questions already in hand you can go and put your questions uh, um, on facebook so filmmakers are there they they have the question That's already wonderful. and we provide them the admin key your film is shown today opening night is done now our filmmakers go facebook live with the quest, list of questions answering to everyone and this way we can keep those videos yeah. and share because Facebook videos really circulate. Yeah, uh, they do. A lot of people. That's exciting. Congratulations again. Thank you. Um, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> yes, please. Um, uh, uh, we are looking forward to uh, sharing uh, our conversation with you because uh, uh, you have asked us wonderful question, provided us opportunity to uh, clear out so many things because we are relaunching the festival and we want everything to go smooth and um, happy. Yes. <laughs> Best of luck. Um, I'll see you online. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kat. Thank you, Kalpna. Take Again, care. for more information on the Silent River Film Festival, please head to the website that you see on yeah, the website www.silentriverfilmfestival.com. The festival, uh, online festival, will take place on the official website. Thank, Thank you. you.